there are a lot of different communications that deer use throughout the entire season. The ones we're focused on, for the most part, obviously are the ones whenever we're up in the tree and we're hunting throughout the season. In the early part of the season, when you hear does bleat, it's generally more of a, almost an assembly call, I guess you'd call it. Um, as the does are coming into the food plot, sometimes they'll use this just to signify that there's a um, all clear and all safe in the food plot. And you'll just hear some soft bleats just like this. They're kind of moderate in length, not real drawn out. Um, and you also hear some of the fawns communicate back if they haven't come into the food plot yet and they're trying to locate mom. You'll hear the fawns throughout the entire season actually make a, a more long drawn out one. And uh, I'm going to move it on up to the fawn section of the call. You may hear them do that two or three times until they catch up with the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the family unit. As you progress into um, the pre-rut stages, those vocalizations, those does are going to be making, um, will pertain not just to the bucks um, from a breeding purpose, but also they're going to begin to kick out the fawns. And as they begin to kick out those fawns, they'll become more grunts, almost of frustration. They'll be shorter, they'll be a little more pronounced, and they'll sound a little more like this. They're just a little bit more aggressive. They're basically trying to push their does off. Um, that will attract bucks uh, at, at coming into that time of year too, especially the younger bucks that are more immature. They're going to start cruising for does and they're going to be attracted to that. As, the season, as, as that rut progresses and gets uh, closer into the rut, where, or as that rut progresses and gets closer and closer into the actual breeding phase, you'll start to hear those does uh, actually make longer, a little bit more drawn out sounds and they'll sound a little more like this as they're being pursued by bucks. <laughs> Subtle, subtle differences. And then again, as you come into the late season, after the does have been bred, you're gonna hear those does uh, begin to work back in their family units again, and they're gonna start communicating with them as they did on a normal basis, and they're gonna shorten up their doe, uh, their doe bleeds just a little bit, and you'll hear it sound a lot more like this. Again, just kind of an all clear sound that you're gonna hear, uh, especially once a, a lead doe comes into a food plot, and she's bringing the rest of the fawns in with her. It just makes them feel a lot safer in the food plot. For a limited time, when you order the Extinguisher Deer Call, you'll receive a free black rack. That's right, you'll receive a free black rack rattling system with instructional DVD. Don't wait until all of the free black racks are gone. Order now. Freeblackrack.com